Scott, we are in a difficult situation because Daniel Webster has been an elected official for 28 years and will not stand either before us tonight or before the public in any forum and answer questions about his record. Nor has the media held him accountable. The elements of the Taliban Dan Ed were provided to your newspaper months ahead. In fact, almost a year ahead, before Dan Webster was even running. We gave you that information. We gave you the information that Dan Webster had introduced a bill that would outlaw marriage for abused women. We gave you the information that Dan Webster had introduced a bill that would require denying alimony to unfaithful wives, but not unfaithful husbands. We gave you all this information, we gave it to other media outlets, and nobody did anything with it. Now, you may not agree with the atmospherics of that ad. I understand that. But the underlying point is what matters, because Daniel Webster is trying to make a second-class citizenship in America that applies to my wife, my two daughters, and all the granddaughters I may have, called being a woman. And that was absolutely right about that ad. There's no question about that. And the only way that we can get these inform this information out in front of the public now is to run these ads. There is no alternative because the media has left us with no alternative. But just to follow up, much like the Gulf uh, drilling question I asked, which was simply yes, no, do you believe it was proper to air that ad? Yes, it was proper, and I'll tell you why. Because that really is Dan Webster's position. If we had aired that ad and tried to make the case that Dan Webster favors wife swapping, that would be a different story. Okay, because Dan Webster does not favor wife swapping, as far as I know. But <laughs> we ran an ad to show that Dan Webster has a 14th century conception of the rights of women in society, and he's willing to use his responsibilities as an elected official to do something about that and impose it on all of us. And that was the point of that ad. 